Welcome back to SnowRunner, and as we know, SnowRunner is a very serious game designed for serious individuals who are only playing this game to carry out serious tasks in serious vehicles. Which is exactly why we're going to be driving, in this video, the most serious vehicle ever to exist, and it is not the new ZIKZ-566A, it is in fact the Mega Bus, and as we know once again, seriousness is the only reason you might play SnowRunner. Now, all of that aside, I have had a wonderful time so far experiencing Season 9 with balanced, or at least fairly balanced, vehicles. But in this video, I've decided that it's time, and I've done this with just about every season that has come out, I have decided that it's time to go a little bit overboard, I've decided that it's time to see what happens when you take a vehicle that's basically its own driving cartoon, and we're gonna see what it's like to drive around this map and experience one of the new Season 9 maps in one of the most ridiculous vehicles to ever be in SnowRunner. So let's fire it up and uh, begin our drive, our very serious, serious drive. I'm sure there's going to be someone out there that's not going to understand the sarcasm behind that and is going to be raging like, Oh, this isn't serious at all! What are you talking about? That's the least serious vehicle that could ever be in the game. What are you talking about? That needs to be removed. It's literally sarcasm. All right. Now, right off the bat, I think we need to depth check this river because I know we're not driving a normal vehicle through it, but, uh... If we can drive this through it, then it's not actually all that deep, now is it? Or, let's see, well, this part we can drive through no problem. What about the actual main part of the river? Uh, okay, well apparently that's... Wow, you could drive through that with like a regular vehicle, that's very drivable. Now this should be a bit deeper. Uh, it isn't. It isn't! What is up with this? You could bring a mildly lifted vehicle through here and be fine. This is kind of... Whoa! This is kind of deep. Like, not crazy deep or anything, though. I mean, not deep enough that it would be a problem. Okay, let's see if we can find some areas that'll challenge this thing, because there have been some in this game before that have sunk the Megabus and the Monstrosity, but they are few and far between. And I'm really, like I said before, curious to know if any of the rivers out here in Ontario can do just that. I got a lit. Whoa, okay, alright, that's... We're getting there. I will say the current isn't slowing me down at all. Normally, the current will slow this thing down, like if the current is strong enough. This river, not so much. <laughs> This river is far from slowing this thing down. It does not even, uh oh, it does not even care. Okay, the water does get a bit deep here. That's for sure. Now, that waterfall, I love how we can just drive right up to it, by the way. That waterfall looks a bit steep. Just a bit, whoa! Why is it so, why is the deepest place right here at the base of the waterfall? That's so strange. Okay, can we... We cannot go any further, and we could probably not drive up that wall. Okay, well, it was worth the try. Now, we're gonna turn around, and we're gonna check our map real quick, because we drove up this way. Now we're gonna drive back this way. Ooh, we need to go by the, um... By the dockyard, like, by, well, not really dockyard, but by the port. Let's see. So... I'm going to set a couple markers for myself, and actually, the cool thing about this is that it's going to allow me to kind of reveal some areas of the map that we haven't really revealed yet, so that's actually going to be kind of nice. Alright, plunging it in. Okay, you have to be above at least fourth gear in order for high range to work. And even then, it can get a little sluggish. Okay, we're going to leave it in automatic mode, and we'll just tap the clutch every once in a while to kind of get it to change up and down. Hi, boat. I'm faster than you. I mean, we haven't submerged the hood yet. Well, the only place that we submerged the hood 
was really the base of the waterfall. I mean, that was pretty much, oh my god. That was pretty much it. I never realized how, like, sandy that area was. Huh. God, this thing is ripping so much, though. It literally, it doesn't even slow down, not even for a, a moment. Oh! There's the other waterfall. All right, it gets a little bit deep here. Let's see. Oh my god. I just realized. We're gonna jump this waterfall. We gotta get some speed. <laughs> we gotta get some speed for this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be incredible. My only worry is, like, hitting a rock at an awkward angle and, like, flinging myself off of the waterfall sideways. But, hey, if it happens, we'll just take it as part of the experience. Third. Fourth. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh! Which went well. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get this back onto its wheels. Suspension mode back down. To make it, I guess, somewhat easier to flip over. Maybe, sort of, kind of. We're taking on engine damage? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, I... Uh... Well, 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 this went well, this went so great, I don't even know how we're going to fix this, I, I really don't, because we're fighting the current as well, oh, we might flip over, all I need is just enough angle to be able to start, that's all I need, if I can get enough angle that I can start, then we'll be able to kind of get ourselves back in business again. Almost there. Oh! Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm trying to start. Yep, 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 there it is! There it is! Oh, we got it started! Okay, it actually does get fairly deep out here. This is definitely the deepest water I've been in on this map so far. Alright, whoa! Now, I kind of figured that this area was going to be the deepest because this is kind of the largest body of water on the map. But, like, I figured it would honestly be a little deeper. There's the little miniature harbor. Oh, that, uh... uh so, fun fact, that Durango kind of pops in and out right there. Oh, this is actually, uh... Uh, oh my god. This is actually quite deep now. Whoa! Okay, I think I'm partially floating. I did not expect this. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, suspension back up. There we go. See, when you have a go-go gadget suspension, it really does help. It, it, in fact, helps a lot. I will not be able to fit under that bridge. I'm telling you that right now. Suspension down. Still no way. It's just gonna be like, bonk. Yeah, that... <laughs> that's not going to work. Not even remotely going to work, actually. Okay, suspension back up. Now, let me go back the way I came in and see if there's any other areas that will submerge my rig. Whoa! That almost did! It slowed me way down and sent me all the way back to first gear is what it did. Jeez! Can you imagine just, like, being the person standing on that observation deck and watching this drive by in the harbor? Or rather, not even in the harbor. This is a giant river, but still, like, just watching this drive by in the water. Like, it would be such an awkward moment. You'd be like, well, I guess I'll... I guess I have to sell my boat now because now my boat is obsolete. Good. <laughs> and into high it goes. If I can get it to build up momentum, this is where it should really take off. Oh, we got a waterfall. I didn't realize there was this many waterfalls on this map. Let's go! Bit of an awkward landing, I will admit. Hey, stuck it, though. Oh, we could totally drive under that bridge. Yes, come on. Well, I think. The physics of this thing landing a jump are probably some of the weirdest physics this game has ever seen. Because it will literally bounce back at you. It's so odd. Am I in low mode or high mode? I was in... Well, I was in high mode. Okay. I just wanted to make sure before I drove under the bridge. I was like, I wanted to give this thing the full, like, height. You know what I mean? 
crazy thing is, I think we've now explored almost all the major rivers on this map already. And that took, like, what, a few minutes? Oh, that's, um... And that's what we call the edge of the map, which we have definitely now discovered and seen. Okay, back the other way it goes. Now, let's shut it down for a moment and have a bit of a look at the rest of the map. Now, that's about, like, I mean, apart from a couple of these side channels, that's already pretty much every body of water on this first map in the Ontario region. Before we finish up, though, I decided I wanted to try something even wackier than everything we've already tried, and that is, can we drive up on top of this train bridge? <gasps> I mean, well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That was way too promising to give up on just yet. Whoa, whoa, okay, I'm a bit caught now, but I don't know. I don't know if that's... We might be able to do this. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right. Hold on. Let's try this one more time. Okay. This is going to be really, really, really tough. Really tough. Like, I don't even know if it's actually going to be possible. And we may just fall through the thing at a certain point. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we might just fall through the actual frame of the bridge. But, I mean, it's worth a try. It almost worked. Okay, it's almost like there's something that pushes you off of it. Dang, I thought there was gonna be... I thought we were gonna actually be able to drive up onto it. No, it pushes you, look! Like, I'm... I'm driving directly up onto it, and it always, like, forcefully slides you off every time. Yeah, okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more time. One more time. Oh my god. Oh wait. Oh, I am falling through it. Oh. Uh. That hitbox is weird. <laughs> okay. Well, if y'all enjoyed the Mega Bus versus Ontario, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time.